good everybody I am back with another video and before I get started with this review here I want to say thanks for stopping by and if this is your first time here or if you haven't done already make sure you do the right thing and hit the subscribe button below and if you enjoy the video then give your girl a thumbs up all right so let's get it I have this box here. This is a one-piece box. It opens up this way and it's completely matted out in black. There is a Jumpman logo on the top lid right at the center. Jumpman is facing right and it's debossed with a gold foil overlay. Same design for the shorter end here at the corner with this Jumpman. And then on the opposite end, there's a 23 with that same design feature. And this is the size four which is my size. So this right here is the standard grade school size box that I receive for my Jordans. So most of the time, my shoes come in a box that looks like this. So my threes, my fives, my sixes, sevens, eights, twelves, they all come in this box right here, which sucks because I know that oftentimes men's sizes, they receive something a lot more cool, a lot more special. So for these shoes here, the men's sizes received a silver boss with some hits of red for the Jumpman on the top center. We obviously did not receive that for the grade school sizes, which sucks. I wish that with what I'm paying, I receive something that aligns with the men's sizes, right? Because I think these, well, this doesn't say because it says suggested USD here and there's no price, but usually it's like 160 for these shoes. So that's a lot of money, right? So hopefully in 2023, Jordan Brand will start leveling up their shoebox game, right? So we'll see how that goes for grade school sizes. But in the meantime, let's take a look at these here. This is the Air Jordan 13 Retro in the Brave Blue colorway. And these right here look super nice in hand. I like this colorway a lot more than I thought I would. It's given off like noir Flip 13 vibes and I love my Flip 13s and so these look really hot in hand. And so for those who are like, these look familiar, where have I seen them before? Well. It's a very familiar colorway. These right here, or this colorway right here, dropped for the 13s back in 1998, but those were for the low tops. And so 25 years later, we have this high top or high cut version of the same colorway, but they call it Brave Blue instead. And so very similar vibes. It looks really nice. Besides the cut, the biggest difference between the two shoes visually is that there's no Jumpman logo or emblem on this collar here on the lateral side. Here is the cat eye hologram with the 23 and Jumpman which I think looks super dope. It's one of my favorite features on the 13 and so I'm a big fan. And so these released in April so I hit on these on the sneakers app and it took me a while to get around to reviewing them but better late than never right? So let's go to some details. For the upper on the shoe, there are a few different materials going on. So at the forefront, there is black tumbled leather, and then wrapped from the lateral side all the way around the heel to the medial side, there is black synthetic suede. And on the lateral as well as medial side, there are two huge overlaying panels that are stitched on. It's made out of mesh in brave blue, and there are dimples throughout, and then woven into it, there's this reflective material, so I think it looks super dope. has so many cool features on it that I'm a huge fan of. I would say it's like a top five silhouette for me. And as I mentioned earlier, on the lateral side of the collar on both shoes, there's this circular piece. 
and it has a hologram of the 23 number as well as the Jumpman logo. So let's go into the right shoe. Here we have the right shoe, and for the tongue on these shoes, it's also made out of black suede. For the lower, I guess two thirds of it, there's perforations. And then at the top of the tongue, there is a Jumpman logo that's inverted on in university blue. And disregard the noise that's coming from the outside world. I don't know if the microphone's gonna pick this up, but it's like an ATV running around and getting it right. And then for the laces on these shoes, these are black rope laces. These shoes come fully pre-laced, only one set of laces here. At the bottom of the tongue, there is a black tag that says Jordan in white. For the inside of the shoe, the sock liner as well as lining of the tongue is in brave blue. And it feels really nice. It's very cushiony or well cushioned. And then for the lining, it kind of carries over to the heel so you can still see it when you rock your shoes. For the insoles, it's in black and Jumpman logo is imprinted at the heel in white. For the midsole on these shoes, it's two-tone. And so for the white areas, it's made out of rubber. And then the black areas, it's made out of suede and it wraps around. And it feels like there's a coating overlaying the suede because it kind of feels like rubber, but I think it's for the protection of the suede because it's at the midsole. And also at the heel and forefront, there are Zoom Air units. For the outsole on these shoes, this design and the silhouette and structure was inspired by Panther Paws. And so here it's tricolor, there's white with some black and some hits of brave blue. Where there are white paws, there is a herringbone traction. Midfoot, there is a clear panel to see some of that brave blue fabric as well as a white pinstripe stitching. And I believe the structure for the 13s, it's supposed to be a carbon fiber shank plate just like the 11s. Here, I guess for the grade school size, we did not receive that treatment. So this also silhouette is so cool to me. There's a lot of different features and details that go into the design and structure, and I'm a huge fan. I wouldn't say it's the best also silhouette in the game because those are from my Jordan 1s, but these are one of the most unique and I like them a lot. And so with these shoes here in this colorway, I'm a huge fan. I'm glad that they applied the colorways from the lows to this cut here. I think it looks really good in hand. And so this is like what I mentioned earlier, a darker version of the Flint 13s. And so they're releasing the French Blue 13s very shortly. And so this is like the darker version, Flint 13s is like a lighter version, and then the French Blue is like the brighter, wider summertime shoe. So I'm a fan of these. Let me know in the comments what you think and hang tight for my on-feet look.